said as they sat down. You look troubled. What's occupying that restless mind of yours today? Einstein leaned forward eagerly, his eyes lighting up with excitement. Michelle, I've been thinking about what would happen if you could ride alongside a beam of light. Besso raised an eyebrow. That's an unusual thought experiment, even for you. But don't you see? Einstein continued, gesturing animatedly. If you could travel at the speed of light, would the light beam appear to be standing still? And what would that mean for our understanding of time and space? Other patrons in the cafe began to stare as Einstein's voice grew more passionate. Most people would dismiss such questions as pointless daydreaming, Besso observed. Einstein smiled with the joy of someone who had found his true calling. But that's exactly what makes it so exciting. Everyone else sees these questions as impossible or irrelevant. He pulled out a small notebook and began sketching diagrams on the table. I don't have any special mathematical abilities that others lack. I'm not the smartest person in any room. Besso watched his friend's enthusiasm with admiration. Then what? Makes you different, Albert. Einstein paused, considering the question seriously. I think... I think I'm just curious about things that most people stop wondering about after childhood. He pointed to a child at a nearby table who was staring in fascination at the way sunlight refracted through his water glass. That child is asking the same kinds of questions I ask, Einstein explained, but most adults learn to ignore such impractical curiosity. Besso nodded slowly. So you're saying that genius isn't about having special abilities, but about maintaining a child's sense of wonder? Exactly, Einstein exclaimed, his face glowing with excitement. I am passionately curious about how the universe works, and I refuse to let anyone convince me that such questions are unimportant. Years later, that same passionate curiosity would lead Einstein to develop the theory of relativity, revolutionizing our understanding of space, time, and gravity. The patent clerk who daydreamed about riding light beams became one of history's greatest scientists, not through special talent, but through refusing to stop, asking questions. True genius lies not in having extraordinary abilities, but in maintaining extraordinary curiosity about the world around us.